Hi, we're Norman City Kutu. And we want to talk to you a little bit about uh, the struggles of raising virtuous children. Um, you know, our children are bombarded daily with many unvirtuous things, whether that be through um, public or private school or homeschooling or via the internet, um, music, friends, teammates. Uh, they are just bombarded with so many unvirtuous things. Um, so as parents, we struggle, you know, and ask ourselves, how can we counteract that? What tools can we use to challenge the vices that they face daily? Well, I guess the answer is, is the church in the catechism. The catechism talks about theological virtues and cardinal virtues. The theological virtues being faith, hope, and love. And the cardinal virtues being prudence, justice, fortitude, and temperance. And when you begin to study these, you really start to realize your own failings. Uh, and it, it's, when you try to teach your children these virtues, it certainly uh, allows you to see your failings. And, uh, you know, they're little sponges. And uh, if you fail in uh, displaying these virtues, they will certainly... Uh, enact those failures in their own actions. That's right. It, yes. Isn't it? Yeah. It is. It's time true. and time again, we'll see it over and over and over. And being the parents of five, uh, we get to see it fivefold. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I think, you know, what are the tools that we have that help us to learn about virtues and, and how to grow virtues, not only in our children, but also in ourselves? Um, you know, we have the catechism. There are many articles in the Catechism that help you to understand the virtues better. There are, uh, you know, the Bible, the church. Right, and I think it really comes down to the church and the sacramental life. Uh, you know, we attend Mass weekly. How do we attend Mass? You know, are we attentive during Mass? Do we truly listen to what the Lord is saying to us in the Gospel? And when we receive the Eucharist, are we ready? Are our hearts absolutely ready? Is our soul in the right place? Are we filled with God's grace? Are we ready to receive that grace? And I think that's where the sacrament of reconciliation really comes in. Uh, yes. Certainly teaches you some humility, but allows you to receive that outpouring of the Holy Spirit and the graces that you receive uh, with the Eucharist. And, and I just think, you know, we've got to use the church. We've, we've got to allow the church to become part of our lives uh, in, in our everyday life, you know, and especially when we attend Mass, and yes. certainly when we, attend, we receive the Eucharist. Yes, and I think um, praying for an outpouring of the gifts of the Holy Spirit um, for yourself as parents is important. You know, we all need wisdom and understanding to raise children, and the more we pray for that, you know, the, you know God is generous. He will, he will give us what we need to raise virtuous children, and we we'll, have to trust in Him. And we'll begin to see the fruit. Yes. Anyway, once we get those gifts, we see the fruit. And sometimes you have to look for them, but they're there. Yes. So uh, there's no perfect uh, answer, there's no perfect remedy. Uh, just, you know, continue to pray, uh, continue to, uh, to receive the Eucharist, practice virtue, uh, study them, understand them. Thanks. So, uh, thanks. That wasn't bad.